So this is some video of me fishing the San Juan River a few weeks ago. That day, I discussed with you about nymphing a bunny leech. Baitfish patterns can be nymphed, rather than stripped or swung. And this fly we will tie today is actually designed for that purpose. It's a nymphing type baitfish pattern, more like a small fry actually. So let's get started tying this. The hook I am using is an Umqua U301 in size 12. I like to add about 5 to 10 wraps with some 0.15 lead wire to make this sink. Make sure to push the wraps together and then position them somewhat in the middle of the hook shank. Now start your thread right in front of the lead wraps and wrap over the lead a few times to smooth out the bump created by the lead. The thread I am using is Vivas 16 knot in olive. Bring your thread back to the bend of the hook. Now grab some olive marabou and tie it in so the tail is just shy of the length of the hook. Trim off the waist at an angle and tie it down tightly to lock into place. It also helps to make a wrap under the tail to keep it angled straight. Now let's tie in some body wrap. In this case I am using tinsel twist made by Fly Tires Dungeon in the olive color. Then let's get it out of the way by placing it in our material clip. Now add some peacock curl. Take the body wrap and start wrapping up the hook shank to cover the shank tightly. Oops, <laughs> I forgot to bring my thread halfway up the hook shank. Once you wrap halfway up the hook shank, then capture your body wrap. Now add some pearl crystal flash on the underside of the fly and move it out of the way. Start wrapping your body wrap up the hook shank a bit more and stop about a quarter of the way from the hook eye. Now I am going to create a gill with this red tinsel twist. This is entirely up to you, but I think it really adds to this fly. Just make a few wraps to create a collar. Then add a bit more of this olive tinsel twist and finish off the head of the fly. Only a wrap or two at the head is necessary at this point. Bring the peacock curl up over the back of the fly and capture it so it is evenly on top. If you tie it tight enough, you can break it off clean. Now stretch the crystal flash over the bottom of the fly to create a belly. I find snipping this off shorter helps with tying it in. Then snip off the waist and start cleaning up the head with some thread wraps. Now you can whip finish your fly. To add the eyes, a dot of super glue works really well. These are 2mm 3D eyes in silver. I find that the 2mm size works well with these small flies. Put the eyes on evenly on both sides. Once the eyes dry into place, then start covering the fly with some UV resin. In this case I am using the Thin Hard formula by Solarez. But whatever resin you use, make sure it's about the same viscosity as this stuff. Once the fly is coated, rotate your fly many times to help evenly coat the whole body. This will make sure there aren't any lumps in the resin from it dripping. Once it is shaped how you want it, cure the resin with your UV light while spinning it. This isn't necessary, but I like adding one more step with this bone dry resin. It just adds a really nice finish. And there we have it, the nymphing baitfish fry. Relatively easy to tie and quite effective. 
Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe. Check the description section for a list of materials I used today. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.